The oil and gas industry is such a major economic driver for our state. In fact, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, we're only second nationally to Texas. So why did our state land commissioner put a moratorium on new oil and gas leases on some state lands? Well, as Griffin Russian explains, it's all about the kids. I'm going to sign an executive order to ban the sale of oil and gas leases within a mile of schools. Land Commissioner Stephanie Garcia Richard signed a moratorium preventing new leases for oil and gas drilling operations within one mile of schools, daycares, and other education facilities. She says it will protect the health of kids. It's my deep honor and privilege to be able to make this commitment to the students of New Mexico today that their health and their access to clean air and water is a right that we should be protecting with our policies. The commissioner decided to take action after receiving letters from community members in the Four Corners and the southeastern part of the state, expressing concerns about pollution near schools. She also got letters from environmental advocacy groups, the Center for Biological Diversity, and Citizens Caring for the Future. And we wrote and included maps in these letters showing how uh, the elementary school out on the greater Chaco landscape, the Lybrick School, is actually surrounded by fracking sites. And showing how schools down in Carlsbad, Loving, and Hobbs literally have hundreds of fracking sites all around them. Garcia Richard says after getting those letters, she had the land office do its own review. They estimate 119 schools statewide are within a mile of oil and gas wells on state lands. Many of them are near multiple wells, such as Jefferson Elementary in Hobbs. The orange highlighted area marks wells on state land within a mile of the school. It's really quite unimaginable when you see it in person. The executive order signed today only applies to new oil and gas wells. But Garcia Richard says her office will conduct a review of existing leases within a mile of schools to assure they are in compliance with their lease requirements and applicable laws. The moratorium will stay in place until further notice. Griffin Rushton, KOB4.